guys! Today I'm going to show you how to fill out your first Information About Brokerage Services form or IABS for short. There's a sample we can use on the dashboard so just go to the Learn tab, then Learning Resources, then Sample Contracts, then Sample IABS. And I print it out but don't hand it out. This is just a sample that gives you the information you need to properly fill out your form. You'll have to add your own name and license number where required. So to fill this out, we're going to use zip forms. And if you don't know how to use zip forms yet, maybe because you're a new agent, there are more videos and training available on the dashboard in the zip forms plus training section. So I spent some time practicing and doing some homework and it'll make it that much easier for you down the road. But today, I'll give you a head start and at least show you how to fill out the IABS. So we'll log into ZipForms at TexasRealEstate.com. That's the website of the Texas Association of Realtors. ZipForms is a benefit that you receive by being a member. So when you pay all those dues, just realize that zip forms is part of what you're paying for so you might as well use it so we'll log in and if you don't already have a password or an account you'll actually have to create an account the first time you log in you'll be taken to the dashboard click on the view forms button and Voila! All the forms appear. If you're a new agent and you've been asking yourself, where do I find all the contracts? Well, this is it. And as you can see, there are many form libraries you can choose from. Metrotex has one, Trek has one, Netris has one. We recommend using the Texas Realtors Library, or TXR, and it has all the promulgated forms you'll ever need for pretty much any transaction. So. You can search for the IBS a number of ways. Uh, you can look by category, and we know it's a notice, and there it is. You can also search by uh, typing in just the name of the form. And here's some other information about, but there's the one we're looking for. Or you can search by number, if you know the number. And indeed I do. Information about brokerage services. So instead of clicking and adding it here, today we're actually going to create our information about brokerage services as a template. So it'll be more useful for us and so that we'll only have to create it this one time and it'll be stored for us to use for all future contracts. So I'm going to go back to the main menu and I'm going to click on Templates, New, and you'll have to select a type and usually uh, for new agents it's going to be a purchase offer um, if you're working with a buyer and then we'll choose a name for our template and I'm just going to call it IABS and you'll have to select type residential and here this is kind of neat you can automatically apply this template to any transaction that you create and I'm going to go ahead and say automatically apply this to purchase residential uh, agreements and um, that's nice because that way it's included in your paperwork and contracts that you send to your clients for them to e-sign. And that means they'll just e-sign this one right along with the others. And it'll keep your you-know-what covered. And besides, initial information about brokerage services are required to complete the file for each of your transactions. Okay, so I'm going to save that. And we have it started our template but now we need to add a doc to it a document and we'll click add form and if we remember from last time we've already got the number here so it's 2501 information about brokerage services and there it is once it's added we'll need to add our information uh, so it's simple to just click on it and now you're going to be using zip forms so we'll use the sample that we got from the dashboard to fill in all the blanks. And when you get down to sales associate 
uh, name, that's where you put your name, your license number, your email, and your phone number. And we'll click Save. And now we have our first template. Okay, but we're not done just yet. This is still just a raw zip form. Only you can see the filled out blanks. So we'll need to save this as a PDF to make it more useful. And that way you can send it to your clients or add it to your email signature or print out to have on hand. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and click Save as PDF and save to my device, save, and we'll download the PDF file now. And there it is. And you've got a nice information about brokerage services in a nice PDF format. And you could save it directly to your computer, but I'm gonna go ahead and save it to Dropbox. You could also use a different cloud-based storage solution, such as Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive, if you save to a cloud-based system, you can include the link. Um, that way you can add it to your email signature. And I show you how to do that in a separate um, video. So for now, we'll save to Andrea's personal. And I'll go ahead and call it uh, Andrea's Information About Brokerage Services, or Andrea's IABS. How about that? I'll keep it short and sweet. And save. All right. So now this video did not cover how to get a client's initials on the information about broker services. That's handled in other videos. But to just be able to start off your career and have a completed IABS that you can hand out to clients, this should get you up and running. So hopefully that helps.